India is preparing for a national COVID-19 vaccine drive, but all eyes are now on its vaccine export plans. Despite earlier reports that authorities had banned a local developer from exporting its vaccine, officials say that's not true. COVID-19 shots will be supplied to developing countries within weeks. Neha Ponya with this report. India is a vaccine powerhouse. It produces 60% of the world's shots, and it's this strength that the government is hoping to leverage in the next few months. Earlier this week, the government was forced to clarify that there is no ban on the export of the COVID-19 vaccine. The head of the Serum Institute of India, the firm that is bulk producing the Oxford shot here, was quoted as saying that the government will not allow the export of vaccines for months. The company, which is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer, later clarified that their chief was misquoted. The government also called this misinformation. For months now, Prime Minister Modi has pitched India as a country which will play an important role in the global vaccination program. Within a fortnight of the start of India's own immunization drive, vaccine exports to South Asian neighbours could begin. The first countries to get an India-made vaccine are likely to be Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, the Maldives and Sri Lanka. South Africa has sought 1.4 million doses and Brazil has also put in a request. The Serum Institute says it will also provide vaccines to Saudi Arabia and Morocco. Officials say it's likely New Delhi will supply the vaccine at the same discounted price that it's buying the shot for. Some countries could also be given the COVID-19 vaccine as a gift, with India paying for those doses. Right now, the government's reportedly negotiating buying the Oxford jab for less than $3 a shot. Experts warn India will have to balance its own vaccine needs with its bilateral commitments. The country will need enough shots to vaccinate 300 million people alone in the first phase itself. But many are warned warning that uh, exports should not come at the cost of India's own vaccine requirements. Neha Punya, CNA, New Delhi.